Flosstube. Hi, Flosstube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching Mania Edition. Yay. Are you ready for this? Yep. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. May take a little while, so settle in. But this is what we're going to be doing mm -hmm. for Stitch Mania. Yep. Today it's, is Saturday. Yeah. April 26th. I Isn't that know. what I just told you? I don't nope, know. Nope, it's the 28th. It's the 28th. And so we're doing this. This is not a regular video, obviously. We're doing right. that tomorrow. Um, so I think that it, this will go up uh, before our regular video. Um, and yeah. Right. So um, before we go in, dump, jump into it, I kind of wanted to explain a little bit about a, what Stitch Mania is for anyone that doesn't know, and B, how we are doing Mania and the process that we did. So, for anyone that doesn't know a little bit of the history, um, back in 2015, um, an event was started um, on Facebook, and it was called Stitch Mania. And how it worked was that for the first 15 days of May in 2015, you started a new project. Right. And over the course of the years and whatever, the group that was on Facebook that started the event kind of morphed into the, the capital T-H-E, cross stitch group on Facebook with the central figure being this event that happens every May. So it's morphed over the years and, and basically, long story short, is to just have fun with it and to, you Absolutely. know, make you feel a little bit uncomfortable but have fun at the same time right. and to, you know, look into your stash and just go a little bit crazy and go a little mania. Right. Maniac. Maniac. Right. And if you don't like having a lot of whips, uh, the Stitch Mania event is not for you. No. And so um, you can celebrate Stitch Mania vicariously through those of us who are doing it. Mm -hmm. I think one of the best descriptions or or rationales for Stitch Mania was from Julie the other day on her channel, mm -hmm. um, Kansas City Girl in the Colorado World. Hi, Julie. And she said that she had heard it from someone else, essentially, is that you have a lot of projects um, and some of them are languishing in baskets and buckets and bins and boxes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Any sort of storage container <laughs> you can think of. They're not doing any good sitting there. Mm -hmm. And if you get enjoyment out of starting a project, mm -hmm. then come up with a number mm -hmm. and work on them. Right. And feel like you belong to a group that is kind of a little bit crazy like you. And um, we are a mother-daughter who are at different stages in our stitching life, a beginner and a seasoned stitcher. Mm -hmm. And um, It's nice you didn't call yourself old, Pam. Seasoned. 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 Marinated, if you will. <laughs> I don't know about that. Pickled, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we're enjoying doing it together as a mother-daughter activity. Right. So um, I think the... <clears throat> What seems to be an annual debate is getting a little old. Um, mm -hmm. For those of us who um, uh, don't really have any um, hesitation about doing an activity like this. Right. Um, we have had fun picking our projects. We started way back last fall mm -hmm. um, after we had made several Floss 2 videos mm -hmm. and... We were both actively stitching and becoming yep. known in the floss tube and cross stitch community. Mm -hmm. And I just threw it at Stephanie. Um, what do you think about doing Mania this year? And she enthusiastically jumped aboard. Yes, please. And we right, started crazy. pulling our projects and picking out our uh fabrics. Mm -hmm. And our flosses. And we did it in stages. We yeah. did it as we as we could afford to buy whatever we needed to put with. And right. we simply did not spend a whole lot of money. Mm -hmm. um, not in one fell swoop, at least. Not in one so. fell swoop. It's It wasn't, as I just was explaining to someone today, it's not like we went out and bought everything to go into 18 projects. I have an extensive cross-stitch stash. Right. And um, it was only a matter of 
creating a variety, mm -hmm. which I think we both have in mm -hmm. our 18 projects. Mm -hmm. And um, there is nothing that either one of us experience in terms of an anxiety over having something unfinished. Right. Yeah. Um, cool. It just doesn't phase us. And mm -hmm. I don't think it phases any of the people who enjoy doing Stitch Mania. Right, yeah. So... And I wanted to say that there's, like, some different ways to... Right. Mania is for you and what works for you. So if you're somebody who's a monogamous stitcher, you could stitch on the same project straight for 18 days. Sure. You know, that works. I know people like Katie Agruzzo, the stash queen, she's doing uh, a Mill Hill Mania, and she's starting a new Mill Hill every day for the first 18 days of Mania. Right. Cool. That's right. great too. Our stitchy friend Heather, she's doing nine whips and nine new starts. Right. So, you know, like make it your own and do what you want to do with it. Whatever makes you comfortable, whatever was is within your price range. And so when mom came to me and said, like, hey, want to do you want to do a new mania? And I was like, uh yeah. It's a sky blue, obviously. Um and but it's a joy to have the two of us together, but that's not just 18 projects, that's 36. And I know, Julie, you're doing 50, but slowly roll, okay? So we don't have, like, yeah, we have, a, we have a ton of patterns between the two of us, and we have a lot of flosses between the two of us, but we have really only started, probably since I started stitching, getting a good fabric collection together. So that we knew was going to be our bigger expense of it all. And Which so, was kind of the reason we joined a couple of... Fabric of the Month right. um, memberships mm -hmm. yep. um, so that, you know, if something should come in the mail, mm -hmm. um, we might have a possibility for it to be something we could use in one of our media projects. Exactly. So we've had this on our minds. Yep. It seems like a really long time, actually. Yeah. Um, and, and the people who were like, I'm going to do Mania, and it's like two weeks till May, or like five days till May. Yeah. That would have got me anxious. Like, I would right. have been, like, losing my shit over it. Right, but, right. And because we, between me and my Excel sheets, and just knowing that we wanted to do it, we... The whole process is how, how we picked out our 18 starts a piece is that we looked at all the stash that we had back when we picked projects. So what we picked back then is what we stuck with. Yep. So we've gone to, we've had lots of hauls since then. Oh yeah. But nothing has been changed out. Right. So, and when we, when we picked our project, we looked at both of our stashes and said, if these were the last 18 projects that we could ever work on, what would they be? Yeah. And th these were them at that point in time. At no, that point in time, and what we I didn't, we didn't now? switch anything out. We, that was the core eighteen that right. we each had. Yep. So, and then we went through and put all of our flosses. I mean, you can switch out till the cows come home. Right. You know, I mean, it was just kind of a discipline that we both yeah. adopted. It was like those are our those 18, are going to be for me. Not going to change them. Right. And then we picked all out all of our flosses. And one of the questions that I don't know if it's coming up because of mania or if I've just seen it a lot on the mania facebook group is that like what do you do if like you need you know like 310 black for example yeah. well like every project ever i feel like needs black in some way or for, whatever i have like at least half of my projects call for black am i going to move one skein of black over and over no of course not so we would go and we would buy separate skeins of it so um everything's so, fully kitted up correct and everything nothing is sharing something from another um and so i wanted to say that and then so first we bought the flosses and i made obviously i made an excel spreadsheet and wrote down what we needed to buy and then every week on fridays when we go to our lns keepsakes we would buy five skeins of hand dyed floss because we used the dmc sale at joann's and got all of our dmc good to go and then we once that was all done and over with then we went and got all of our fiber our over hand dyed fibers from keepsakes and then once that was done we got our fabrics organized right so and then from then on then i spent a day cutting all of our fabric for mania and then so on and so forth. So that's basically how the process worked for us. Mm -hmm. um, this is just how we did it. This isn't the way to do it. Um, but we are each going to be starting a brand new project uh, every day for the first 18 days of May. Right. So if you watched our video, what, how many weeks ago did I explain that? Like a month maybe ago? Um, is that I sat down with my friend Heather um, and 
had the list of mom's products over here and the list of my products over here. And I tried to my best to match them up so they had some sort of connection. Some of them are pretty obvious, some of them are a stretch, but they worked. And then what I did was I went onto like the everyday calendar website or whatever and like found a holiday that matched with it. So like for example, May 1st is May Day, which is kind of like the kickoff of spring in my opinion. And our projects for the 1st of May have to do with spring in some way, shape, or form. So like we're going to explain that as we go through, but it's kind of a lot to follow. So, but that's why this video is separate than our regular video. Because we're already almost 11 minutes in and we haven't right, even started. Right, we have started, so. Yeah. And then we also each got one of these from So Much to Love. These are the whip trackers. Yep. Show yours, Pam. Oh, this is mine. Mm hmm And these we've used exclusively for Mania. Right. So there are pages in here. And so I'm giving mine away, but this is... The first one, so Tuesday, May 1st, 2018, the chart that I'm doing, um, and then in parentheses to it's by, and then the fabric. And then it just goes day by day by day. Uh, and that's the best way that we've found to keep track of that stuff. Mm -hmm. So um, that's what we'll be looking down at, because I wrote all the linens in there. All right. Some linens don't have tags, so that's why these are out here, is so you can know what the to tell the peoples. Okay. What it is. Okay. So, okay. Okay. So. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So. All right. We're ready to go. You ready to go? So, the you first. Go of, first. The first of May. So, I'm going to tell them the name of my project. Yep. You're going to show them the chart. Right. Not the chart, but the picture. Right. And. Um, and then I'll show mine. And then you'll show yours. And then we will explain the connection between connection, the two and, and then the then, holiday. Okay. 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 So, Get May 1st. I am going to be doing Little House Needleworks Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Okay? Mm -hmm. And um, the um, customization I'm going to make on this mm -hmm. is as a Red Sox fan, mm -hmm. I am going to do something that Marissa from M. Kissa is also doing, mm -hmm. um, because she's a Red Sox fan as well, yep. um, there is a, a place for the home team and the visitor team, and um, we are going to change it to uh, BOS for Boston mm -hmm. and NYY for New York, and put the score of the 2004 World Series final game. Because they won. Because Boston won. Right. So, um, this is a needle minder that we got Jen. from, um, Jen Grimes made that for us from Jen Grimes. So mm -hmm. Jen Grimes, your baseball needle minder is going to go into immediate use. It is. And then what are you stitching it on, Pam? So I am stitching it on this fabric, which is not written in this. Oh, it's not, but it's, it's, it's a beige, sorry, beige your book. linen. It's a linen, beige linen. Yeah. I think, I think it's the called for because you ordered that from, what is it? It says 30, 30 count oh, straw no, linen. Not. I don't know. That isn't that what that is. But anyway, Whatever. so there you go. So that's my project for the 1st of May. All right. And then my project, which has a little bit of explaining, but I'll get there, is a pretty moon. And it is, we'd turn back if you was us. And um, there's the Wizard of Oz characters, obviously. And then it says Easter Parade over here, and then like all you can eat, and then Hasar Pfeffer. Um, and I am stitching that on 28 count Brittany Lugana in Tempest by Chromatic Alchemy. And this one is actually charted in all Belle Swaz. And considering I would like to, you know, eat again, um, I decided not to do that because that's friggin' crazy to me. Um, and so what I did one day was I went in to Keepsakes and I pulled all of the Bell Swaz that it calls for. And then they have a fantabulous thread room where like the walls are just covered in fibers. And I just like carried the Bell Swaz around and matched them up. And then I made a conversion to overdyed to myself. So um, with the exception of Miss Green Jeans, look how pretty that is. I mean, I'm just saying that that's really pretty. And then this, which is pom-pom pink, and I got that in Stitchy Carousel. So, 
those go with that. And the connection <coughs> is that they're both spring. So spring training for moms. And then mine has like Easter parade and it's springy. And then the holidays May Day. Right. Yay. So for May 2nd, uh -huh. um, <laughs> I am doing a design out of the World of Cross Stitching magazine, the UK magazine. It's a British one, so it's probably not dated. And it's not dated, of course. But um, I saw Lindy. Stephanie at Lindy Stitches stitch this, and I fell in love with it. It's a Margaret Sherry pattern, and I love Margaret Sherry. And it's called Festive Friends. <laughs> so it's a magazine, magazine. pattern. Look at them. And oh, I am doing that on 28 count Summer Sky Joe Blunt. Beautiful. So. Love it. So that is that. going to be my May 2nd start. Mm -hmm. My May 2nd start is a Glendon Place pattern called Reindeer Games. And there are two ways to stitch this, either like this or in a bell pull, but I'm doing it like this. Um, and, I mean, look at those reindeer, though. I mean, please. Like, can you? Um, and I'm stitching that on, this was in the plastic, but it's 32 count Kione, maybe, from Chromatic Alchemy. So it's kind of similar to that other one, but sorry about the glare, but... Um, it just, I pulled a tan for it and it looked crappy, so I said, no, thank you. And then the connection between the two of them is winter slash Christmas, whatever. And then the holiday is National Pet Week. And there's, that's the beginning of National Pet Week, I guess. That's what it said on the internet. And um, there's animals in both of them. So people have reindeers as pets and people have cats as pets. That's a fact. Santa had reindeer as pets. Thank you very much. There you go. Just saying. All right. Okay. So on the 3rd of May... My project is going to be a design by Ghosts by Stitches Through Time. And Didn't it's, Christine Stitch All the Things stitch this? Uh, yes, it is behind Christine Stitch All the Things um, in her usual uh, floss tube spot. And it's called uh, Ghostly Encounters. So cool. Look at that creepy hand. Ghostly Encounters. And I am doing that on a piece of 36 count ale from Picture This Plus. So, I love it. There you go. And that love will it. be my project for the third. And my project for the third is a primitive hair pattern called Boo Tree. Look at that. Boot. There's a lot of black, but whatever. And then I'm stitching that on Queen Anne's Lace Joblin. So very similar. Mm -hmm. And I think that's 28. Mm -hmm. If it's 32, it's whatever. But. And those are both obviously Halloween patterns. So mm -hmm. that pairs them together. And um, the reason we're doing them on that day is, guess what? That's National Paranormal Day. Gotta love it. Get it? Get it? Okay. Okay. May 4th. So on the 4th, I am doing a kit. We are not doing anything Star Wars on May the 4th. No, no, no. We're not Star Wars We don't people. do Star Wars. Just saying. So on the 4th, I am going to start a kit from Marjolene Baston, uh, which is put up by Lenarte. And this is how I've always pronounced those two names. So correct me if I'm wrong or whatever. Um this was stitched by a floss tuber last year. I saw it and I just loved it. And I think I got this from so and so. I think that was the only way I could get a hold of it <laughs> over in the UK. And this is called. Sunlight. Yeah, we just got a bunch of sun. Natural sun. Uh, this is called pumpkins. And uh, if you're a regular, you know I love whitish bluish pumpkins whatever and this is a kit and it's all sorted mm -hmm. so i'm good to go with that on the fourth and that's some white ada or whatever but. yeah i'm going to use the white ada that comes with it yep and my pattern for the fourth is a satsuma street autumn bird love him and this is a 28 count linen. I have no idea what it's called. I got it from Katie Glass. But it's like these, 
it's like blues and kind of green. It's not really showing up that well on the camera, but either way, it's going to be really pretty. And it's going to kind of look totally different than this, which I like because right. I like that. So and so those are more or less autumn designs. So mm -hmm. they're paired together. Yep. And um, that is really... Um, National Bird Day. Yeah. It's National Bird Day. Right, National Bird Day. And there's so a bird in your pet. I do have a bird in my pumpkins. Mm -hmm. Oh, a couple. There's two birds. Two birds. Yeah, more birds Resting than yours. on my pumpkins. Mm -hmm. And pumpkins. so there you go. Okay. So on the 5th of May, yep. my project is going to be a design by uh, Core E. Batacori, uh, an Italian designer. Mm -hmm. And it's called. Halloween in the rain. Okay, mm -hmm. we love this designer. Oh my gosh, so cute! Um, and that's going to be done on yep. a piece of thirty-two count uh, vintage country mocha. Vintage country mocha. We all know it. We all love it. Yeah, yeah. Vintage country mocha. Pretty, right? Yep. And I think the orange that you're that she's using in that is called lobster claw. Yeah, which is really cool. By classic color works, I think. I don't know. Yeah, it's a really good orange. Yeah, it's really for the super variegated for the pumpkins and the yeah. And then mine for what day is this? Is this is the we're fifth? now at the fifth. Okay, so this is a kitten Bixby called On Halloween Night. Love that. On Halloween night, this old house comes alive to scare little cats who just want to survive. <laughs> Look at them cats. Mm -hmm. And I'm stitching this on 32 count linen in London Fog by Under the Sea Fabric. So it's a really nice, like, neutral gray. Pretty. And that obviously connection is Halloween. We didn't catch that. Um, and then that's Cinco de Mayo, which is also the Day of the Dead. So that works. Right. Boom. Right. Okay. Next. Okay, so on the 6th, I'm doing another kit, starting another kit. She has kits in Armenia. I do not have kits. Yeah. So I'm doing a Charles Waisaki, and it is called Summer Haven Inn. And I am using everything from the kit. Yep. Including the Ada. Including the Ada. And, um, yeah, that's my project for the 6th. The 6th. So my project for the six, I, this was one that was like, I really want to start this right now, but I didn't because I have self-control. But this is a Charlie Harper in stitch, the leaflet called Cat Bird Seat, but I'm doing the Calico Cat. So, see? And I am stitching that on, this is a 25 count Dublin linen, but from Zweigert in Hazelnut. So this, this fabric was packaged. And I opened it and I was like, this fabric is going to suck because it's packaged. Oh my God, this fabric is amazing. I don't know where Pam got it. I don't know if they make it again, if I can get more of it, but I'd buy it by the bolt if I could. No. So, and that is, so the connection, she's doing a Charles Wysocki. I'm doing a Charlie Harper. The connection is that they're both designed by Charlie. Get it? Two Chucks. Mm -hmm. And then it's National Lemonade Day, which reminds me of summer and it's, that goes with mommy's project for Summer Haven Inn. Right. Cats don't drink lemonade, but whatever. Yep. Deal with it. Right. Okay. So we're up to May 7th. Mm -hmm. On May 7th, I'm going to be starting a cricket design called Summers at the Lake. Okay. No, it's called Well Suited. No, it's called Summers at the Lake. Huh. Wait. Hold, please. That's funny. On the inside, it says well suited. That's why everyone knows well suited. Here you go. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I was like, that's not I'm at the light. Well, anyway, it's number 314 <laughs> if you're looking for it. And down mm. at the bottom, it says Summer's at the Lake, which right. I love. I love that title a lot better than the other one. And um, I am doing this on. Oops. Whoops. I'm two pages behind. Oh, yeah. Well, there's nothing. Uh, I don't know what this is. It's a very pale, pale blue. Yep. And it's um, it's 28 count. It's 28 that. count. Um, just a little detail on this. I have pictures of my grandmother 
um, one of my two grandmothers who loved swimming and anything to do with the water. Mm -hmm. I have pictures of her in some of those um, vintage bathing suits. And so I am hoping that at some point when it's finished, I'll incorporate it into some sort of collage with um, some with the framing, some photographs of my grandmother. Um, so cool, uh, decked out in her, um, you know, nineteen twenties, fifteen nineteen twenties oh. bathing suit. Wouldn't that be cute? Yeah, I think so. That's cute. the plan. That's the plan, Stan. Right. And my one for the seventh is out of the, wait for it, the June 2016 issue of the World of Crossness magazine that looks like this. And it is a Emma Condon Stitch Rovia pattern called Follow Your Dreams, A Journey of a Thousand Miles Begins with a Single Step. Pretty boring on this, just 28 count Joblin and um, Snow White because hi look at them colors right so this is kind of a stretch but bear with us on the connection here is that when you work out you want a beach body in a bathing suit and you need some inspirational posters to go with it there you go that's the connection and that is oh this is cool so the the holiday is national paste up day what Who is knew? what is paste up mean no it has nothing to do with pasty so don't get excited but um, paste up, pasting up or however you say it is actually like the way that they used to do layouts for magazines and newspapers is literally with like cutting, you know, copy paste, right? So um, it's kind of a celebration of the old timey way of doing that. And this is an inspirational poster. So that's where that comes in. I know it's a stretch. Just, it's really stretched, but just go with it. Yeah, yeah. Just pretend. It's best they could do. Just pretend like you like it. Best they could do All for right. May seventh. Exactly. All right. All right. May eighth. So May eighth, I am doing a Plum Street sampler, and it's one that I just adore. This. Mm -hmm. This is Turkey Bay, and I have always loved this chart because of the whimsical whimsicality. There you go. That's a wow. big word Whips there, the quality of this with the turkeys um, in the water and the um, pilgrim with his uh, periscope. telescope. Periscope. Periscope. Telescope is to the sky. Oh. And then there's more turkeys up here in the in the foliage. Love it. Um, when, when we were looking at this, we were prompted to um, think about whether turkeys swim. I was like, do turkeys actually And swim? we did the Google, and turkeys can swim. They literally swim. Who knew? Who knew the turkeys could swim? So I'm doing Turkey Bay by Plum Street Sampler, and I'm doing it basically on a white piece of 28-count linen. Because, again, you don't need a whole lot of variety in your fabric because the colors are going to mm -hmm. pop off that. Beautiful. So there you go. And I am also doing a Plum Street Sampler. And this is the Salem Hornbook. Cool, right? So Gallows Hill, 1692. All that business. Yep. And I'm doing that on the 32 count Belfast linen in cream. By Swagger. Boring, but that's what it yep. is. And da -da 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 -da. obviously the connection is that they're both Palm Street samplers. Duh. And then that is National Teacher Appreciation Day, and horn books were used in schools back in nineteen in sixteen ninety two. So there you go. There you go. Okay, what's next? All day? right, the next one is May 9th, and I am doing um, something that was kitted up when I obtained it. I don't know that it came kitted up, oh. but anyway, um, it's uh, let's do wine from. Um, Imaginating Ursula Michael. And when I acquired this, uh, it came with linen and sorted floss. So I am going to go with that and do, let's do one. I've never done one of these where it's, you know, it's made up of all oh, the you words. Never have? No, I've never done oh, one. Oh, you have like 600 in your stash. Yeah, well, I've got about 600 of everything. So, this is also very So good. there you go. Let's do one. That's going to be my. Um, May 9th project. And my May 9th project is a Sue Hillis design, just keeping it local, you know. And this is the Women Who Behave. So Women Who Behave Barely Make History. 
do that. And look at them handcuff charms. Love that. Because, you know, I'm working on my lawfulness. And I'm stitching that on a 28 count light pink linen by Zweigert. So I think that, like, I, when I laid the flosses out on it, I was like, yes, please, all day. There you go. So the connection between those charts, so I don't mean to stereotype here. And for the record, I am not a woman who likes to drink wine. But I know that there's lots of women out there that like to drink wine. So women is the connection. Where well behaved women barely make history. Drunk women might make history. <laughs> Just saying. So that's the connection, and that is National Moscato Day. So there you go. So have a glass of Moscato to celebrate. There you go. So we're up to May 10th. May 10th, I'm doing another <laughs> kit, starting another kit. And this is gonna be so fun. This is a Boffy Threads kit, and it's called Cut Through Lighthouse. Cut through lighthouse. Love it. And it comes with a uh, 16 count, uh, pale blue Ada, mm -hmm. and all the threads. So that's going to be my start for the 10th. Mm -hmm. And the 10th for me is not a Bothy Threads, ki Bothy threads kit, but it is a uh, needle bling designs and it's called Hopes and Dreams. Keep your hopes afloat. Let your dreams set sail. And I'm going to be changing the date from 1492 to 2017. Yes, I know it's 2018. If you know me, you'll know why 2017 is important to me. And I'm doing that on a 28 count Jobelin in, it's literally called Blue Wing. I don't know what that means, but whatever. It's pretty. Um, and... There's lighthouses in both patterns, so that's why they're together. There you go. That's how we paired them. And it's National Shrimp Day, and shrimp live in the ocean, and lighthouses are on the coast of the ocean. So there you go. Bingo, bango, just like Mama. Yeah. All right. So now we're up to the 11th. Yep. And on the 11th, I'm going to start this design from our one of our favorite designers, who no longer designs, uh, right, Casey right. Bonagorio, and this is called... Blueberry pancakes. Hashtag true confessions. I want her to sit just so I can have it when she dies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all of my cases are in a box that Stephanie designated as ones I have to <laughs> stitch before I die. Because I want them hanging in my house. So there's that. And I'm going to do that on a on a pale blue uh, 32 count uh, even leaf. Nope, that's one in, but that's fine. It is? Mm -hmm. Yep, it is. So that's going to be blueberry pancakes. Mm -hmm. And I am doing Strawberries Forever by Told in a Garden. <sighs> Love this. And I'm stitching that on 28 count doubloon Lugana by Picture This Plus. If you haven't figured it out yet, the connection between the two of those is that they're both fruit. Correct. And it is national what day, Pam? It's National Eat What You Want Day. Have a bowl of strawberries and blueberries just for us. There you go. We're yes, keeping it healthy. You have to we say. are, you know. At least we're not making, at least you're not doing your taco sampler. <laughs> just saying. Oh, done that. Twice. Yeah. Yeah. Go back and binge watch us. You'll know what we're talking about. Right. Okay. So we're up to the 12th. Uh -huh. And on the 12th, I am doing a Prairie Moon. And it is called... I-31, get up and run. And you see the eye is a bloodshot single eyeball. Creepy. Um, it's I it's do a have a love of game boards, I and this is a bingo card. So it's a stretch, I know, but it's Prairie Moon. you got to stretch for Prairie Moon. Exactly. And I am doing <laughs> this on a antique white linen. Nothing too fancy. Right. And um, that should be like super fun, I know, I'm super fun to, to do. Oh, so I mean, you know, the way we're rattling these off, it sounds like we're gonna like complete the project that day. Of course, we're not. No. You know, you all know we're not. If you but, finish that cut through lighthouse in one day, I'm gonna shoot. No, no, my no. Hands. Of course, it's not gonna happen. There's no way. Right. But um, just to start these is just the variety has just been fun. Yes. Okay, so mine, what day is this on? This is the this 12th. This is on the 12th. So I'm doing also Prairie Moon. I got two Prairie Moons in mine. This is a Surrender Peter by Prairie Moon. 
love that because another play on Wizard of Oz. Y'all know I love Wizard of Oz. And I'm doing this on 28 Count Lugana in Sagebrush from Under the Sea Fabrics. Ah, ooh, ah. <laughs> so another stretch here, okay? So obviously the connection to them is that they're both prairie moons, okay? But that is National Odometer Day, okay? What does an odometer do? It tracks your speed. So we were thinking like, okay, so movement, blah, blah, blah. Well, hers is 31 get up and run, right? And then mine has a picture of some guy running after a rabbit. There you go. So that's how we came up with that. There you go. See? We have, All right. We have really good imaginations here. Just keep stitching. We're up to the 13th. The 13th of May. Mm -hmm. And on the 13th of May, mm -hmm. I'm going to do a little house. And it's oh, called. this is my favorite one. Colonial dry goods. And I am going to do that on a 28 count dusty blue Lugana. So pretty. I think this is one where really the picture doesn't do it justice no, at all. So I terrible. think once we get going on that, no, that's going to be yummy. Mm -hmm. So colonial, you know me. Colonial. Hoppy. Hoppy. And then mine for that day is a Country Cottage Needleworks Christmas Carols. This was one of the last ones that I could find fabric for. And I am, again, doing it on 32 count, not 28, but 32 count sagebrush Lugana from Under the Sea Fabrics. So this is my favorite one connection out of all of them because I'm sentimental and you know this. So May 13th. Is the Sunday and it's Mother's Day. So, if you've been cross stitching for a minute, maybe maybe you don't know this, but um, the connection is that their little house in Country Cottage Needleworks. So, for those of you that don't know, Diane Williams, the designer for Little House Needleworks, is the mother of Nikki Lehman, who is the designer for Country Cottage Needleworks. So it's mother daughter. We're mother daughter. It's Mother's Day. It works. There I was go. so proud of myself when I came up with that. I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay. Very, very clever. Go. All right. So now we're on to the 14th. Mm -hmm. And for the 14th, mm -hmm. I am doing a carriage house samplings. Yep. And it is called Widow's Walk. And uh, for obvious reasons, <laughs> nautical, the reason they put Widow's Walks on the tops of houses on the seacoast is so that the captain's quote-unquote widow or the seaman's quote-unquote widow could watch for the ships returning into the harbor. So I love that whole concept. Mm -hmm. And truthfully, I've had this for a while, played around with what color to stitch it on, and you know what? You really, you really can't make this work on anything but a burnt orange. You right. really can't. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing it on a piece of... 36 count copper linen and it calls for it in 40 count. Right. So this is the called for fabric, but we don't do 40 count. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't really get though. I've, I've done 36 like once, but Pam likes 36. So not bad. No. So that's what she said. So there you go. And mine is a Kathy Barrick pattern and it's called the Christmas witch. And it says, the Christmas witch, she loved to stitch. She stitched a hat for her black rat. She stitched a cake for her black snake. Oh, for pity's sake, she stitched a mat for her black cat. Love that. And, like, there's the snake and the cake and the rat with the hat and the cat. And <laughs> I am still... Put the rat and the cat. Put it in the And then I'm stitching that on a 30 counts uh, Ash Rose Lugana. And the connection... Kathy Barrick is equal to carriage house samplings, yeah. and that is National Women's Checkup Day. Kathy Barrick is a woman. That's all I got. <laughs> We're women. We're, We're going to do a checkup, maybe. <laughs> Here we go. Check up on your women. Right. <laughs> all right. Check up on your women. <laughs> okay. The 15th. We're getting down to it, people. We are. I am doing a kick right. from Bent Creek. We love Bent Creek. And I'm going to do Flag of Stars. Yep. And this... It's 18 count. I, it's this the is kit. the kit fabric. I'm going to do it on that. Mm -hmm. And it's 18 count raw, something like that. Yeah, probably. it is. Yeah. And yeah. it came with like pearl cotton. So oh, that's yeah. what you're doing. 
Yeah. Have you stitched in pearl cottons before? Oh, yeah. I love them. Okay. Love them. Yeah. Well, I never have pants, so don't look at me like I'm sorry. No, I'm just saying. They're, they're great. Okay. Yeah. So, for this is 15th, right? Yes. We are on the 15th. Okay. So, I am doing, um, this is just the picture of the first installment, but this is the Frosted Pumpkin Citrus National Parks Birthday Club, their first one. Um, so this is obviously just part one. I have all the other parts, but I'm not going to print them all off right now. Because if I get this done in one day, I'm going to oh. crap my pants. So whatever. <laughs> no. And I'm doing that on uh, Gossamer from Picture This Plus. I got this uh, at in the Christmas in July sale last year. Yeah. From Picture This Plus. The one last one ever. So the, connect and the connection between them is um, America. America. Like a Stars National Parks, you know? And that is the Peace Officers Memorial Day. So all your first responders. It seemed patriotic to me. I went with it. There you go. Whatever. Okay. All right. Next. Next. 16th. Three more, people. On the 16th. Can you imagine if we'd done this video attached to a regular one? This would be insane. Oh, my God. So I'm going to do an ink circles. I know. Is this your first ink circles? Besides the ornament you did for Brittany? Besides the ornament I did for Brittany. Yeah. This is my, will be my second... Ink circles and it's called North Woods. So cool. That is going to be so fun, mm -hmm. and I am doing it on. Um, that's all I got. Yeah, that's fine. I'm doing it on a 32 count gray linen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so yeah. The P. Uh, for the record, that yeah. picture of that pattern is very, very misleading. Yeah. I thought that it was red and black. Yeah. And then I went upstairs to the thread room to pull the threads. Right. And the colors are caper, which is like a green brown black color, mm -hmm. and blaze, which is an orange color. So it's more like the hunting it's colors. Gonna pop. Oh, it's going to pop. But it's going to look really, really cool. So we didn't oh, yes. change it to black and red. We just went with it. Right. And then mine is for that day, which is the what day? I keep losing track. It's the 16th. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing a purse color. Um, Little Red Riding Hood. And I got the inspiration. You know what's funny? I just realized the connection between these two. The connection could be Jay from Mortuary Stitches. Because Jay did both of these. She did? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. That's where I saw this chart when she stitched it. Oh, okay. But it's... It's also got woods in it. Right, yeah. There's trees and stuff. And then I'm stitching. And I'm not... This is in uh, three colors of DMC. But I'm using a variegated red. And I'm using Turkish red from Weeks Dye Works yeah. for the red. And I'm stitching that on a 32 count Joblin and Ivory. So pretty yeah. basic, but. Right. You don't need anything. Right. That's also the whole lot going on. Correct. I did pull the regular red. All too, right. We are up to the Wait, seven. You didn't need, We said that there were trees in it, but the holiday oh, oh, oh. is National Love a Tree Day. National Love a Tree Day. Get it? Tree Hugger Day. Yeah, go out there, hug your trees. There you go. Check your women, hug your trees. 17th. Next to last. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a cricket. This is like your second or third one, I feel like. Cricket? Your, your second. Oh, yeah. in this grouping? Yeah. Could be. I don't know. Well, you have the, the well suited. Sorry. So I'm going <coughs> to. Excuse me. I'm, I'm going to be doing salmon stripes. Yep. yep. The top version. The top version. Yep. Cricket collection. Sam in stripes. Not mm -hmm. salmon. Salmon stripes or Sam. <laughs> Not salmon stripes. stripes. Yeah. Salmon stripes. And I'm going to be doing this on one of my favorite linens, uh, 32 count amber. Mm -hmm. um, it's showing up a little lighter in the camera than it is. Yeah, but it's a little. A little darker. It's warmer know. than what is showing. Correct. Yeah. Our light is changing as we're sitting here. It is. Um, I love this. I love amber. Love it, love it, love it. So. And I am doing. Are y'all ready for this? This is my very first Nora Corbett slash Mirabilia slash Lavender and Lace slash whatever, but it's a Nora Corbett. And it is letter S um, that I was so graciously gifted from a viewer slash fan last year. I love this. I'm not a pixie fairy person, but I love this. The colors, oh my god. I can't wait. And I'm stitching that on this 32 count, like, purpley linen it's gorge and this is kind of a stretch too in regards to the connection okay so um may 17th is 
our stitchy friend Heather's birthday. That's the third time we've mentioned Heather, I'm just saying. <laughs> but she was the one that helped me pick out these holidays and match them all up and stuff. Right. So, um, May 17th is Heather's birthday. She might be the biggest Mirabilia Nora Corbett fan that I've ever met in my life. So, that's why I picked that one for that day. So, that's the letter S. And Sam in stripes is two letter S's. It's an alliteration holiday. So, SS. And it's Heather's birthday. Lots so, of S's. There you go. All right. And da da da. May 18th. Yep. We are going to wrap it up. Finish up Stitch Mania. So dramatic. I'm doing a homespun elegance. Taking it old school. We're taking it old school on the last day. What does that say? It's a uh -huh. correction. Oh. Um, this is called Delivering Snow. Mm -hmm. and is that uh, a reindeer or a cat? Because it kind of looks like both. Uh, I can't answer that right this minute. Okay, thanks. Because um, I don't know. Well, right maybe those are its antlers. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I'm doing mm -hmm. it on um, a 28 count uh, dirty cashel. Dirty cashel. Dirty cashel. <laughs> That's why we're cooking at old school. <laughs> dirty cashel. Get your dirty cashel out of my so, life. So, I'm get, done. And then I'm going to do a drawn thread the Christmas greens sampler. That I got at a stash sale for a dollar. And it says, I'll be home for Christmas, if only in my dreams. Yep. And I'm stitching that on 32 count pewter linen from Picture This Plus. There you go. So there you have it, people. Um, we've had a ball mm -hmm. over the last several months. We have. Getting ready for Mania. And I can't believe it's finally here. I know, right? Tuesday, um, we are going to be starting Stitch Mania 2018. I think we've got a lovely variety between the two of us. Me too, Pam. I'm thrilled to pieces. Um, I think that for the the those 18 days, we are going to have an absolute blast. We are. Um, so it may fun. get Stephanie out of bed a little early. Let's just say. Oh, man. <laughs> I Am I going to have to wait until you get up before I can Hell stop? No. My, oh, good. Because no, no. I could get going early. And, I know. You know, I might. I'll I set might. my alarm for early, like 10. Early 10 is early for her. I so, stay up till 3 p.m. Get up well, back. Well, all right. So, anyway. So, this is our plan right. for Mania. Um, so, we will continue to have regular videos. Right. Right. But we are going to be kind of doing them. Uh, vloggy, vlog-ish. Vloggy style. Right. So we will have our regular, so, okay, so the first Sunday in May, so after we've had Mania for a few days, we'll have a regular video, and we will come on, and we'll say thank you, and we'll show you, um, but when, when we get to the whip section, um, is we will insert the vlogs videos that we will do throughout the entire week. So kind of a slideshow kind of thing. Correct. Yeah. So like at, every night before we go to sleep, we are going to do a quick like two minute long video and say, these are our whips for today. Yeah. This is many a day one. Here's how far we got. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And then <coughs> so we'll insert that in the whip section so we don't like repeat ourselves. Yeah. So the slideshow will show what we got done mm -hmm. on that start date. Not, <laughs> right. not to show you what we're going to get going on that day. Correct. It will be what After. we did on that start right. for that day. This is our to show you what we're going to get started on video. Yeah, and also we probably can go ahead and um, uh, post on Instagram each of those nights too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. we generally do that you know, anyway. routinely anyway. Right. So. so, and then after we show you that slideshow, that we're obviously not going to have any finishes in that time. Um, but that's fine because none of them, none of our products are smalls ish. Thank you. Right. Um, and then any, we'll come back where it's live to us and show you any haul that we got or whatever. Um, and stitchy kindness and, and, you know, mail call and all that good stuff that you're used to seeing. Um, but it's just going to be a little bit altered style. But sure. Roll with it. So. Hey. Um, we're excited, and we hope that you enjoyed seeing everything that we had planned for Mania. Mm -hmm. um, I know that we've enjoyed seeing other floss tubers. Yeah. 
um, so videos fun. about what they're doing for Mania. It's an absolute blast. I love seeing what everybody is looking forward yeah. to. Um, and so that's going to do it pretty that much. Yep, so so. Um, look for also pretty much right behind this one um, will be our um, regular weekly video. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, but this is our Stitch Mania special edition, and we hope you've enjoyed. It is. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching. Bye.